all right so it's that time of the year again it's my birthday and so this year i've been thinking of a video to do i've not actually had any video to do so i just said okay let me do what i do best every birthday so about three years ago i made a video and then in the video it was five facts about me and i did that video on my birthday and last year i did a video of 25 more facts about me and in the five facts about me video I said that I had not been to all the regions in Ghana and I had not traveled outside of Ghana before. Moving on to fact number four, I've never been out of Ghana. Last year when I was doing the 25 facts about me, I still said the same thing and I had not traveled all of Ghana and I hadn't been to any country or outside country as well. So did anything change? If you've been following me, you would know that the whole of last year, I traveled a lot and that was one of the reasons why I shot a lot of drone videos. And so this is going to be just a highlight of what happened in the last 365 days. As of the time that I made the last 25 facts about me. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Over here, we make videos like, not like this. We actually make Photoshop tutorials tech videos and i recently also got into filming shooting drone videos and all so if that's something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribe and join this family okay so the last 365 days has been one of my best days because um i got the opportunity to travel a lot within ghana and i traveled to my first country outside of ghana I didn't use airplane though, but it was traveling. <laughs> of course, so um, the whole of last year, from February to November, December, it was full of travels. Let me just give you a highlight of whatever transpired. Most of you may be familiar with this. So in the month of February, I traveled to the Volta region with my travel buddy. If you've been here, you probably might know her, Efia Kimura. And then we had the opportunity to explore the Volta region. The Volta region is one of the amazing places that you can actually travel because they have these mountains, they have the beaches, they have nice roads, they have a whole lot of things. Okay, so we first visited the southern part of the Volta region, which I'm, I'm told it's the Keta. So the Keta beach, those areas, so Gakope, that southern part of the Volta region. So we went to the Keta beach and goodness the keta beach is so amazing super clean a serene environment right from the keta beach to the fort presence thing and it was the first time hearing of this fort i didn't know there was a fort even in the volta region right, so we learned about how the slaves were brought from the northern part of ghana and how they will be taken to the asin Manso slave market to have their last bath and they will be taken to the slave market to be sold the moment was a captivating one and when you visit such places you realize that you are able to connect with whatever that the tour guide is saying to you and you can feel the thing around you so it was kind of an emotional moment but we learned a lot of things and then it was a great one right from there we went to the Sugakope bridge it was amazing sight it is the longest bridge in Ghana and it is on the Lake Volta so we had some amazing sights walked on the bridge and it was shaking goodness like it was kind of terrifying but since it's also very long like when you are walking on it it is quite some distance so I had my moments there and the view was very amazing as well The subsequent day we went to the northern part of the Volta region. Alright, so we set off and then we had some drone shots at the whole municipality. It was an amazing shot from the top. And then we continued to Tafi Atomi Monkey Sanctuary where we had the opportunity to meet this smart monkey. <laughs> They are very smart, honestly. And mind you, if you don't have bananas, they are not your friend. <laughs> if 
yes they are not your friend so if you send in a lot of bananas you're going to have a lot of friends but right after your banana is finished it is going to be over for you so we listen to the story of how this whole thing came out and if you want to know the in-depth story of all of these places that i'm mentioning we did a full coverage and my friend Efia Kimura shared it on her channel so you can go over and check it out okay so right from the Tafia Tommy we headed to the relief waterfalls the highest waterfalls in Ghana and it was an amazing experience as well and from there we climbed the highest mountain in Ghana So from here, you can see the top of the mountain. Like, yes, I think there is a sign there. Ah, Woo! 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 Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's see. Let's see. Ay! 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 <laughs> wow! We made it! We made it! Ay! 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 And that was when I realized that it is not actually called Mountain Afajetu. Because if you say that it is basically tautology, it is say it is more or less like saying Mountain Afaja Mountain. So you can either say Mountain Afaja or Afajatu. Because basically to means mountain. So if you say Mountain Afajatu, you are saying Mountain Afaja Mountain. And we climbed to the apex. It was an amazing experience. And a piece of advice, if you are climbing, don't take bags along and make sure you take water and you eat plenty. That is a piece of advice for you. So the Volta region was an interesting place. Before we came, um, the family that we went to, one of my very good friends, Confidence, the family took us to Adidomi and we saw the Volta river and then we had an experience on it as well. The drone shots were amazing. I got some amazing footages from there as well. And it was a great one. The people of Vota region are very nice. Honestly, prior to going to that place, people will tell you be careful. And people, the Votarians are not that. But, you know, it was one of the places that I enjoyed throughout my travels so far. In May, I traveled to the Eastern region. The landscapes were amazing. The people were awesome. And I loved the greenery in the eastern region it is very cold over there if you're coming to ghana and you want to a place that is very cold like that you can chill up it is the eastern region that you want to go we went to places like the Boti waterfalls where we have this twin waterfalls it is it's super amazing unfortunately we couldn't meet the water flowing throughout so we are advised to come in june july if you want to see the water flowing also, we saw the umbrella rock, which was amazing. And then finally, we went to see the three-headed palm nut tree, also located at the Booty Falls, a few hike from the Booty Falls. It was an amazing experience, and I would definitely love to visit those places again. We had a couple of fun at the Sajuna Beach Resort, where I did my first ever swimming. Guys, it was crazy. So, breath control. guys it's not easy <laughs> ever since then i haven't actually had um i haven't gone for swimming again but obviously i'll be doing that and i'll definitely share it with you yes one of the few places that people would definitely want to visit when they come to ghana is the adomi bridge and i had the opportunity to explore this place as well it was very nice and the adomi bridge actually shakes more than the sugar copper bridge so it is quite scary to walk on the adomi bridge as compared to the sugar copper bridge we also had a chance to see the tetequashi coco farm the first place that tetequashi settled when he came to ghana and then we headed to the abri botanical gardens where we saw different type of plants got some explanations some huge botanical names here yeah, this is another plant that is called it moriah exotic that is the botanical name and it was a great experience and a learning experience as well we also visited the Adom Waterfalls. It's not that very popular, but it is now getting known and you might definitely want to check Adom Waterfalls when you visit. So fast forward to September 2022, I traveled outside of Ghana for the first time and it wasn't on a plane. So I'm still looking forward to that travel where I'll use the plane. So I had 
the opportunity to travel with two other people Ifya Kimura and Jane Bellevue Bev, Bellevue yeah so Jean if you are watching this video give us the correct pronunciation of your name Jean came to Ghana he wanted to explore and then he invited us to take him around so we visited a couple of places we went to Accra central region and then of course we went to Togo as well so we traveled by road to Togo as well and traveling by road is also very nice experience I know someone is going to say that because you didn't have money to <laughs> take a plane but of course that if I had the money I would have obviously taken a plane or something but traveling by road is also a nice experience it was 24 hours in Togo and we were able to do a lot we visited the beaches the Togo has this kind of like very serene place. Um, we are actually at Lomi, the capital city. So guys, the journey to Togo was actually a very hectic one. We experienced a lot of things and all of them has been shared on a fair Kimura's channel. So you can, but it was quite a hectic one. I would advise that if you are traveling to Togo, even if you are a Ghanaian, make sure you pick up your passport and try to use the correct route. That would actually help you a lot, honestly. But Togo was amazing. We enjoyed the food, the drinks, um, the how do you call it? The street food, the snacks. They have quite similarities with Ghana. So it wasn't difficult to join in there and enjoy their food. Back to Ghana, we visited the central region and some other amazing places Kakum National Park, the Almina Castle, and some interesting places as well so late 2022 we decided to explore the whole of the northern regions together so we went to savannah upper west upper east and unfortunately we couldn't visit the northern region itself we went to places like the moli national park where i saw an elephant for the first time and it was amazing experience We also went to the Larabanga Mosque, the oldest mosque in Ghana and one of the oldest in West Africa. So we listened to the history and went to the magic stone as well. At the Upper West, we went to places like Wichau. We went to Wichau to see Hippopotamus, but unfortunately the season couldn't favor us, so we couldn't see Hippopotamus. So we went back to Girapa. So we went on safari at the Royal Cozy Resort popularly known as Girapa Dubai and we went to see lions, tigers, zebras and these other animals that have forgotten their names. But it was also a nice experience at least like a man-made safari that was kind of interesting as well. So we further on to the upper east region and we traveled on this super super i don't want to say crazy but super interesting road from Wa to bogatanga and we were it was full of death the road wasn't that very good but of course we made it out in about six hours or so we got to navrongo and we went to see crocodiles at the paga crocodile pond it was an amazing experience <laughs> What does that mean? Before sleep. Sleep, sleep. Before sleep down. Yeah, it's a one. You go make it. You make a movie small. Hey, it, it's very huge. <laughs> it's so this was the first time of touching a crocodile. Although I had seen one at um, Hans Cottage in Cape Coast, so it was also an experience for me. And you know, my travel buddy, the years and twelve of our time she was able to like touch both of them both at hans cottage and the paga <laughs> crocodile be a hey, crocodile pond <laughs> yeah so we got to bogatanga the same evening and bogatanga was very nice honestly i was impressed by all that i saw at bogatanga we stayed at bogatanga that night and the following day we visited the togo hills and togo shrine okay so there we learned a lot about that place and now the chief has a lot of wives a lot of children and a lot of grandchildren as well and we learn about the shrine 
and so many things that goes on at the Tungu shrine and Tungu. Fortunately, while we were returning, we got to Tamale at a very late time, so we couldn't explore the northern region that is Tamale and so we had to just come back. And that was basically all that happened for my travels in 2022. I must say that it was a great experience. I Prior to 2022, I had been to a few places in Ghana and I had not been to any country outside of Ghana. But it is so amazing what can happen in a year time. And yeah, last three years, I said I had not been to outside Ghana before. Last year, I said it. And this year, I'm saying that I'm proud I've been to outside of Ghana before. But this year, I'm just looking forward to having my first flight. You guys know that that is very possible, right? Yeah, so if you want to make this happen, you can definitely book me a flight and I'll make that happen. Yeah, so I know this video has been long. I just wanted to come here to express how grateful I am for all that has happened in the last 365 days. And I'm grateful for your support, for watching the videos and for watching the advert which basically made me some money to travel to some of these places so happy birthday to myself i wish the very best of things to happen to me this year and i wish myself more success more knowledge um greatness upon me more money of course and i'll be back in 2024 to share my experience of all that happened in 2023 as well so if you made it to this part you are an awesome person i didn't mean to make this video that very long thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video um my battery exhausted so enjoy this footage and i'll see you in the next video it's innocent here and bye